Gospel of the Ebionites, Irenaeus against Heresies, I.26.2. But the Ebionites use only that gospel which is according to Matthew, and repudiate the Apostle Paul, calling him an apostate from the law. E.27.4. The Ebionites repudiated Paul, and used only the gospel according to the Hebrews, making but slight account of the others. The gospel of the Ebionites is known only by the quotations from Epiphanius in these passages of his Panarion. 30.13.1-8, 30.14.5, 30.16.1-2, 30.17.1-3, 30.18.1-4, 30.19.1-5, 30.20.1-6, 30.21.1-7, 30.22.1-8, 30.23.1-9, 30.24.1-10, 30.25
is a gospel harmony preserved in a few quotations in the writings of Epiphanius, a church writer who lived at the end of the 4th century CE. The original title of this gospel is unknown. The designation customary today is based on the fact that this was the gospel probably used by the Ebionites, a group of Greek-speaking Jewish Christians who were prominent throughout the 2nd and 3rd centuries. Epiphanius incorrectly entitles this the Hebrew Gospel, and alleges that it is an abridged, truncated version of the Gospel of Matthew. Whereas the Gospel of the Ebionites is indeed closely related to Matthew, examination of the extant fragments reveals that much of the text is a harmony, composed in Greek, of the Gospels Matthew and Luke, and probably the Gospel of Mark as well. Although Irenaeus, late in the second century, attests to the existence of this Gospel, we are dependent solely upon the quotations given by Epiphanius for our knowledge of the contents of the text. Mr. James comments, Epiphanius, and he uses very confusing language about it, as about many other things. These Ebionites were vegetarians, and objected to the idea of eating locusts. A locust in Greek is akros, and the word they use for cake is enkros, so the change is slight. We shall meet with this tendency again. These fragments show clearly that the gospel was designed to support a particular set of views. They enable us also to distinguish it from the gospel according to the Hebrews, for, among other things, the accounts of the baptism in the two are quite different. Epiphanius is only confusing the issue when he talks of it as the Hebrew gospel or rather, the Ebionites may be guilty of the confusion, for he attributes the name to them. The Gospel according to the Twelve, or of the Twelve, mentioned by Origen, Ambrose and Jerome, is identified by Zan with the Ebionite Gospel. He makes a good case for the identification. If the two are not identical, it can only be said, that we know nothing of the Gospel according to the Twelve.